to Pouring Up to Tea with T Promise, which is Tiffany Promise. And y'all, welcome to a new year 2024. And today we're going to be talking about the healing process because we've been released from a lot of things from 2023 and it is 2024. So y'all, let's get right into it. Y'all, so when it comes to a healing process, let's be real with ourselves. We tend to want to step in our healing process as if I'm about to be healed within weeks or so and I'm going to be okay. Not realizing when we step into the healing process that we need to understand that there's steps and levels to this that we just don't heal overnight. We don't heal over months. This takes some years. Don't care what no one said. Trying to put the pieces back together. Come on now. You have to understand. Where is your healing process? How will I get where I am going? I have to know where I am at. And the only way you're going to get to know where you are at. What? Allow God to show you where you at. But you need to recognize that. I'm in the healing process that this healing process is not about to be overnight. So I want you to be encouraged and understand that you are not too good to know that you know it all because you don't know it all. You you can't just jump into something and thinking that I'm all right when you're not all right. Why everything is messed up because you didn't fix it yet. You didn't fix yourself yet. And you're wondering why everything is scrambled, why you just don't understand everything is falling apart. You are not healed. So when you are in a situation and wondering why things is just not adding up right and why things is not going the way you want it to, because your healing process is not even done. It's not even done. There's levels to it, and you have to accept that, that you still got pieces that you need to put back together again. And it's not only going to take you, but it's going to take you and God. A lot of times we want to put our own self back together. How are we going to do that? How are we going to put our own self back together? We the reason that we even falling apart because we think, oh, I'm okay. I can go and do this. And we put more on ourselves because we want to brush it off and dismiss the problem without dealing with it. And y'all know, I've been through a lot, a lot. When it came through, you know, a healing process, thinking everything was over, you know, that I was healing from a certain situation, thinking, oh, I'm fine, you know, I could deal with it, I can, you know, go forward, okay, but did I accept, you know, that I, you know, move forward, did I let these things go, no. I just thought instantly, once I step away, worry about me, I'm going to be all right. No, it's, it's not like that. There's a lot of things to this because you have a lot of attachment. You have a lot of things that you have put in yourself that you need to bring out in order for it to be fixed. Be real with yourself. So you can be real to the person, the situation. If you can't be real to yourself, who you going to be real with? Come on. It's time to be healed. It's time to be healed. It's time to get in that mindset to say, okay, I have a problem and I need to be fixed. That this didn't come overnight and I'm still going through this process. And y'all, the only reason why this is my first 
episode because a lot of us we walk in the new years as if oh everything is gone but everything is not gone you're still healing just because you walk into 2024 doesn't mean everything just drop off just like that yes we should have a new mindset of peace but you're still in the process of healing to find other ways to fix that god i need peace. Lord, I need patience. Lord, I need to find love. Lord, I need to find joy so I can get through this whatever it is. Lord, help me with that. Come on, y'all. It's time to pour up the tea. It's time to make it hot and and say, okay, it's going to get hot sometimes. Meaning, I'm not going to like it, but look, you're going to get through it. This healing process, you're going to get through it. You're going to get through it. Don't let nobody tell you you won't get through it. God is going to show up when you don't think he's going to show up for you. And when I tell y'all, he did it for me. If he can do it for me, he could do it for you. And he's going to do it in a way where you're going to be like, wow, God, I am ever so grateful for what you've done for me and what you will do in this coming year. God, continue to show me, but allow me to do the things that I need to do in you. Don't allow it to be my will, but allow it to be your will. Come on, y'all. Allow us to speak those things and allow God to move us so then that we can move in our healing process the right way and not in the world's way. Okay? It's changing the mindset how God wants us to move. Move in the way that God wants you to move and you will heal the correct way. Okay? You gonna get there. Don't let nobody tell you different. I pray that this has blessed you. And before I leave you, I'm going to leave you with a prayer. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we glorify you. But Lord, I ask you to touch each and every person that's at the sound of my voice, Lord. But Lord, continue to heal us. Lord, continue to shape us, mold us, show us where you need for us to go, Lord. Lord, continue to release those things from us, Lord. But Lord, bring it up so we can understand where we at in life. And what we need to do. Lord, we just thank you and praise you in your son Jesus' name. Pray, amen. So, whatever it is, you will get through it. Don't let nobody tell you different. You are who you are, but you're going to be better than what you are right now. So, may you all be blessed and blessings to you. Mm-hmm.